Well, you know how I'm continually going on about you not being tourists. When you look at these maps, I want to now talk to you a little bit about air photo interpretation. Okay, there's a lot you can tell just by looking at, at, a, at an air photograph if you look closely. All right, so we're going to zoom in. See how we're starting to, once again, pull all these tools together and, and start to uh, use them. Okay, you can see that uh, I've prepared this pink uh, cadastral layer earlier so that we can, so it's transparent. We can see that there's these big blocks here. They, this is that big block that we saw or that um, big piece of land that we saw in, uh, when it was opaque or you couldn't see through it. And I'm just going to get rid of this now because we're only going to look at the photo. Okay, so I've clicked that off there. All right, so the first things, uh, uh, the things I have to offer are both social and environmental. First thing I see, of course, is this inlet here. It's uh, obviously supported by some sort of wall. You can see that the sand is backed up against it. Okay, and uh, over here, so there's a big difference between the, uh, uh, between the amount of sand at the entrance to this inlet. We can see also that if we zoom in, and I can, I'll zoom in a bit closer. This is obviously deep water all the way up here because otherwise there'd be no um, moorings up here. The boats wouldn't be able to get up there. It's more than likely dredged in here. You can see the water is deeper in there. You can also see that it's predominantly sandy. It's a lovely beach by the looks of things. And there's groins all the way along here. That's something I hadn't noticed before. So they've got some sort of a problem with, uh, uh, with the beaches uh, disappearing. So they've put groins in there. And we'll go to the previous view. This really interested me here because although it, it's obviously subject to inundation, it is uh, because it's part of this inlet, but they like to drain it. These uh, people have put in drains here and you can tell they're drains so that this area is really flat. You can tell because these are so straight. And there's been big problems draining this because there's so many of these drains, okay? That's something else we can tell. This will more than likely, <clears throat> if I'm to think of this in an environmental way, these will more than likely be he um, very heavy clay soils because otherwise um, you wouldn't have this drainage problem. So the water's sitting around. In contrast, I have a, a deep suspicion that some of these areas are sandy soils because otherwise they wouldn't be so um, so burnt off. And you can see that there's some green lawns, so people are obviously watering their lawns. 